This is a video on troubleshooting an AT&T U-verse residential gateway, commonly known as an RG. When you first turn it on, the power light at the top will start flashing. This can take a relatively long time for the device to boot up. Oftentimes, customers will feel there's something wrong, and when compared to a cable or standard DSL connection, this process does indeed take a long time. The process, as you can see from this video, will take up to two minutes. You may hear some clicking. Again, this is normal. These steps should be applicable to all models, but your mileage may vary. As you can see, we are still waiting. The power light will go solid green while it continues to boot. Please be sure to watch for additional lights to come up. Should the power light not stay on, or should only flash, you most likely have a physical problem with your RG and it needs to be replaced. Local Ethernet will come on and stay green as well as phone line 1 and 2. Local Ethernet will flash and broadband will turn red and flash. Lights will continue to flash as it establishes various connections. This is normal. Depending upon your setup, the lights such as local Ethernet, wireless, home PNA may or may not flash. The broadband light will go from red to green and continue to flash. The flashing process can take a while. Should the broadband light only flash red or go from green to red, the problem may be with your ATT UVerse account or your line and will generally require a call to AT&T. When all is said and done, both the broadband and service lights should be solid green and you'll be good to go.